This part of 7.3 day 2 has to do with determining whether a binomial is a factor of a polynomial. So, in this problem we want to use substitution to determine whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. So I want to determine if this is going to be a factor of this. So let's just write a function in factored form. So if I were to say f of x, and I'm just doing a random example, is x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 5. So if that's our function, our cubic function. <clears throat> well, in this case, x plus 2 is a factor of this. We can see it. But when it's not in factored form, we can't really see if x plus 2 is a factor of that. However, let's say we were to plug in negative 2. If I were to plug in negative 2 for x, well, when I plug it in here, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And if that's 0, well, and this would be, let's see, we plug in negative 2 here, we get negative 7. And over here we get 1. Well, 1 times 0 times negative 7, well, anything times 0 is just 0. The same would work if I were to plug in negative 3, because if I know that x plus 3 is a factor, then x would have to equal negative 3. And if I plug negative 3 and I get 0, and 0 times anything is 0, and the same would work with the x minus 5. So, the point that I'm getting to is that if we want to determine if x plus 2 is a factor, I need to solve for x, so I get x equals negative 2. So if x plus 2 is a factor of this function, of this guy right here, then plugging in negative 2 for x would mean that the function would equal 0, just like we had written up here. Okay, if I were to plug in negative 2 up here, it equals 0. So let's see with this one. All I'm going to do is plug in negative 2 for each x, and I can do this in my calculator. But for here, I'm going to do it by hand, and make sure you're always using parentheses. So we get negative 8, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Uh, let's see, negative 2 squared is 4, times negative 2 is negative 8. And here we get positive 10, and we get 6, so this gives me negative 16 plus 16 is 0. So my answer would be yes, it's a factor. All right, one more example. Now, keep in mind, if it equals 0, then the answer is yes, it's a factor. If it does not equal 0, then the answer is no. It's not a factor. So here, I'm going to plug in 1 for x. So if I plug in 1, I get 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. Well, that would equal 3, so my answer is no.